Fiji might soon be able to reduce fuel imports if a biofuel project takes off in Vanuolevu. Biofuel International has a quarter million pongemia trees growing in the province of Bua and aims to start producing what they claim will be the cleanest and greenest biofuel in the world. Abisalamedaka was in Bua and has this story. These 250,000 Pongemia piñata plants have been growing in Lekutumbua for the last four years. This tree is actually indigenous to Fiji. It's, it's here already. It's just it doesn't produce the volumes that we needed. Um, so we brought in these special seeds that do do that. Now, this is what starts to produce. This is a husk. Now, inside the husk is this. And that seed right there contains about 38 to 40 percent oil content. Literally, you squeeze it through a machine, it extracts oil, and within four to six hours through a batch system, it's ready to go in your car. It's the cleanest biofuel, the highest rated biofuel that's in all of Fiji or all throughout the South Pacific or anywhere in the world, in fact. It's just that, that pure fuel. These Pongamia trees grown for fuel in India, and now, after four years of trials in Vonolevu, it's ready for full scale production in Fiji. Gibbon says Biofuel International will be producing 6.2 million liters a year for 75 years. The company is expected to start producing biofuel next year. Each one of these trees produce 125 kg of seed and it takes 4 kg of seed to make 1 liter of diesel. So you'll literally be able to put this Fiji fuel in your gas tank. It's not edible so you're not going to compete with food crops and you're not going to have price fluctuations. Um, it makes your car run uh, 7 percent less vibration uh, or 25 percent less vibration and 7 percent more horsepower. It's just a cleaner, cleaner fuel to use. The Matangali Tikinedaki of Lekutu village says their involvement with the Biofuels International is a dream come true. After retiring from the Fiji police force in 2009, since then I normally visit our farm manager in Riketi and I told him that our Matangali have idle land. I then met up with Tim Gibbons and we visited our land. It was the start of this huge project. We are happy with the dealings that is underway and we look forward for a fruitful future for the company and for us as landowners. Tim Gibbons says they are planning to start producing fuel from next year. Apisolomedoka, FBC News. Coming up on FBC Sports, more female match officials for Fiji football soon. Today FM is number one here in Singapore. We are today FM in Lambasa. It's rock! My favorite station in Nandi is Today FM. Uh, listening to Today FM, Today FM rocks in Suba. Lord of us did love today's kid music. I love Today FM because they play all my songs. We love Today FM at Vunivar Lambasa. Yeah, it rocks! I love Today FM because it rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Welcome to FPC Sports. Now, local football fans, brace yourselves for some changes. In a few months, you can expect to see more female match officials working their way up to become top referees in Fiji. It's a long-term goal for whistleblower Final Vulivuli and a good sign for improving diversity in the sport. Elena McDonald has more. Come the Women's Interdistrict Championship this year, you might just find more of these footballers taking charge. Currently we have only three female match of, uh, referee is on the FIFA list, just uh, me and there's another girl from New Zealand and the Cook Islands and there's a number from around the region that's uh, assistant referees and this year we're lucky to have Ndi Leone, another match official, joining me on the list. Local district teams have implemented a new rule that will ensure they achieve their objectives. Now we've uh, put in place um, rules where the, team, the teams must have club competitions, and so for that matter, they must have match officials, but sometimes they have problems in getting, getting referees to come and officiate the game. So uh, we got up the idea where we have to produce our own referees for our own, own club matches. Thriving on challenges resulted in Vuli Vuli breaking barriers in men's football. Initially, when I started being the first female match official, uh, there were a lot of critics out there. But I think when you have good support and you are determined to prove, prove them wrong, then you just go for it. And I'm glad that now, maybe after 10 years, finally people are seeing that it doesn't matter who you are, what gender, as long as you can go out there and do a fair game, that's important. A benchmark has been set and these women are the first to follow in her footsteps. It may take some time to earn their credentials. However, it's the prospect of knowing 
that their eagerness to take up such responsibilities is going to help Fiji football on an international scale, but on a different side of the field. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. The Telecom Fiji Warriors' first Pacific Rugby Cup pool match is underway against Reds A at the Ballymore in Brisbane, Australia. Warriors coach Lance Whippy has named Rupeni Nasinga as the side's captain as they begin their defence of the PRC title. The Warriors are pooled with Reds A, Force A and a junior Japan side. In other PRC games today, ACTA faces Argentina's Pampas 15. a little bit of showers around the country today and most centers experienced fine weather. Suva and Savasabu were the only place that had brief showers. Lambasa, Nandi, Lotoka and Ba all had fine weather today. Ba recorded the highest on the temperature charts today hitting 34 degrees. Suva had the lowest with 31 degrees. Tomorrow it will be the same as today. Suva and Savasabu can expect brief showers. The rest of the centres can expect fine weather. Now the further outlook, south to southwest winds 15 to 20 knots, moderate seas, moderate southwest swells. Our main news again, man's body found, five-year-old girl remains missing in river as authorities call for advisories to be taken seriously. Deforestation and machine use causing landslides in Neta Siri and Gawea villages receive a much-needed relief supplies. This week's poll question. Are Fijians taking the dengue outbreak seriously? Visit our FBC website to take part. Remember, you can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page, FBC News. Or if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. That's news for tonight. I'll be back on Saturday. Until then, have a safe and productive week. Kitongo isu ondo tali taka na baro na radio Fiji One, mtu sisi nalo mtu. Kito tali taka na radio Fiji One, na radio Fiji One, ndo tali taka talenga e sikoka. Asese ni matendo binatia na radio Fiji One, kwa 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 k